Hello and welcome to the MVS show, episode number 481. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's not dilly dally and hop right into it. So, first up is Crystal Winds. I can't believe I just said those words. My Little Pony series 1 now available from Mighty Jacks. Mighty Jacks announced this, guys, a few months ago. And you can now order them over on the website. The full set is $75. Or you can get the sorry. <laughs> or you can get singles single boxes for $13 each. Get the details below and some extra images. So I'm just gonna tell you guys that. Uh, one box of six, sorry, one box for 13 is okay. Uh, those figures look really good. And at the same time too, if you buy a box of six, uh, they cost you about 75 bucks. I've calculated that if you buy six at 13, it's going to cost you about $78. So there's a, what, $3 discount if you buy the bundle. And in all honesty, um... I'm counting and looking at ponies and there seems to be a bit of discrepancy of what you might get because in the picture we see here <coughs> sorry is that you got Twilight, Fluttershy, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, Applejack with a hat and Rainbow Dash uh, those considered to be the main six Yes, yes, main six. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> and also, you get uh, Princess Celestia, who is possibly a recolor of Twilight, I'm guessing. So, that's a total of seven with one mystery pony, which is Celestia. So, if you buy the full set, you might not get the full set if you're quote-unquote lucky. Um, what I mean by that is that uh, I'm guessing that Celestia is going to be the mysterious blind bag or pony that you get from the set so probably it's going to be um, one in one carton but anyway let's see what they have to say <coughs> come meet your favorite my little pony characters in a new blind box collection the quest of wens designed to mimic the look of precious crystals Feel the magic of the My Little Pony come alive with the Quist of Wens featuring six regular characters. One rare will you. <laughs> why, uh, six characters. One rare will you unlock magic and collect them all? Bring home Quist of Wens, My Little Pony, and experience endless magic fun with your new Wens. Purchase a case of six to get all six regular characters. Or if you're lucky, five regular characters and a co and the coveted rare piece. So yeah, like I mentioned before, it's one of those things where if you buy the full set, you might get all six. Or if you're quote unquote lucky, you might get rare Celestia. <coughs> so let's see. <coughs> So we have Applejack here. She looks great, uh, especially with the hats. And yep, now available. Crystal Valley. They still, they look good. They look really good. Okay, let's head over to the website and see what they have to say. Uh, oh, okay. They have other ponies, so that's good. Let's take a look. See, no, thank you, Mighty Jacks. So let's see. Um. They have Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Apple Jacks. Um, that's the box. Wait, what's this then? Same thing. Uh, Rainbow Dash. Wow, that Rainbow Dash figure looks great. Twilight with books on her head. That's awesome. Rarity. Fluttershy again. And the rare Princess Celestia Light. Why Celestia something, 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 something. And, yep, it's just going to be repeats. Yep, so, 
yeah. <coughs> this this is hmm. Okay. So personally for me this is kind of great. You get the full set and whatnot and this is one of those things where I understand what they're doing, I appreciate it, but the one wrapper box is very annoying. And what I mean by that is that if your heart is set on getting the full main six, suddenly you're quote unquote lucky getting Celestia, you might have a hard time getting who you really want. Uh, let's just say Rainbow Dash in this case. And there's a scenario where if Rainbow Dash is so common that it's dirt cheap to get, you might just get the singles. But if Rainbow Dash is considered to be rare, she might just bump up to box price says here MSRP is $13, but probably she might go up to 20 or 25 or s even more, depending on how rare she can get. And this is just an example. And why I'm saying this is, well, experience from buying a lot of card games that have similar mechanics. But one of the few things that you can mitigate this is to quote unquote trade with friends. Uh, if you have a bunch of friends who buy in, you can probably trade with them. But the thing is, um, okay, let, let's let's put it this way: if you have a f four friends, including yourself, in this four group, who buys a case, so all of you get six individual boxes of ponies to get, and one of you might get lucky and get the Celestia Pony. But at the same time too, <coughs> all of them want to keep their full set and all of them want to uh, keep... or one of them want to keep the Celestia. So it's one of those things where I want the full set but I want X Pony. If, uh, if I'm lucky enough to get Celestia, I need the one that I don't have. And trading between the group is not particularly easy unless you have one of those friends who just buy a box to sell them just to sell them off single um, yeah just to sell the singles uh, maybe they jack it up to fifteen dollars just to recoup some fun at least but uh yeah I, I think that could work or you could just buy two cases um that would get you about $150 worth of money spent and you have extras but at the same time too you see this is one of those things where money comes into play and one of those things where I honestly got no idea how you would justify getting two cases <coughs> so I don't know man like this this is one of those things where I don't even dare touching it again. <laughs> um, but I did remember this one figure that came out from Asia, China, I think. Uh, China or probably mm, Japan. I I think it was China, because a friend bought it from Taobao. But anyway, um, that figure was really nice. It was really awesome, and my friend he bought the full carton or box like all all of it and he got all of it and that's kind of cool i mean there's no buying in to get the one that you really need you just buy the full set and you get everything that way you don't really need to hunt down for what you really want and i i think i'm just repeating myself and if you guys have been following me for a while now you guys know my stance on this i say that these are cool if you're if you just buy the blind box just to buy it for funds that's great if you're a collector i suggest buying the full set of six for 75 bucks and if you don't get what you need go 
and try uh, online sellers, Ebay's, uh, Amazon's, and so on. Or maybe trade your friends who buy it from a friend, probably, who is willing to sell and so on. Not. So yes, uh, let's move on to the next topic. Ah, yes. <coughs> um, the reason for Pip's fluffy wings. Someone over on Instagram asked movie artists Sly Caspar? Why Pip ended up with fluffy wings? Apparently it was simply a design choice rather than some special thing only Pip has. They wanted her to be a fan of 20 style glamorous divas and the big fluffy wings kind of look like fancy feather boas, similar to the fashion of the time. The exact quote, the initial thought behind that was Pip is big musical fan and has a thing for that glamorous 20s look. The fluffy wings made her look like she had a fancy feather boa. So, yeah. That is the answer. Basically, it's just design. So, um, nothing to go beyond that. But let's let's try and <laughs> let's try because we're fandoms. So, her wings are fluffy. You know, I'm not good at this. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, you can see it in the aesthetic designs with the. Um, headband that she has like that that really looks similar to uh, the early 20s kind of cabaret look and so on and the feather boas you, you do see that on s cabaret shows a lot where they hold those kind of feathers and with Pip's design here it looks similar to that um how does she get her wings that way? I guess she frizzled them up on purpose? Who knows? I mean... Did the queen had similar looks? I forgot. But... Uh, I think she could fly with those wings in the movie, I think. Man, th this is comes down to really looking in deep to the movies and I believe there's someone that um, did a video on it like trying to explain why her wings were like that and um, is it possible for her to fly Let, let's see what the chat has to say uh, like the idea the native style was top notch the five wings so well uh, I actually like this a lot Blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, mostly they like the design. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, and as for me, I can't say much. I do like the design too. It's a very cool look. So let's move on to the next news. And Hasbro third quarter earning reports celebrates the success of My Little Pony, a new generation. Apparently, Hasbro is loving the reaction to My Little Pony, a new generation with an infographic showing of its many achievements over the past month from that solid Rotten Tomato rating to its ranking on Netflix top 10 list if you are a shareholder for the company their full report can be found over in the link with all of the technicalities technicalities Technical, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, needless to say, I think we can expect them to double down on them on the huge gamble of launching a brand new cast, and future Equestria seems to have paid off. All right, so <clears throat> let's see what they have to say about their stats. Number one kids title on Netflix in eighty six countries, including. The United States, Brazil, Mexico, United Kingdom, Germany, France, Spain, Italy, Hong Kong, Thailand, Singapore, and Australia. That 
is that is a lot number one movie on netflix in 20 countries including brazil mexico and united kingdom and germany all netflix that's for weekend of premiere that's important that's important uh 14.8 million views on tiktok with a 12 percent encouragement rate outperforming tiktok's benchmark a 89 percent fresh on rotten tomatoes so what this tells me is that okay <clears throat> let's go for the uh, number one kids title of, uh, on netflix this tells me that the show has or the movie has a broad audience um no um l let me let me just make things more compact for netflix or for in general we have a lot of fan fans the fandom is kind of huge and we're clamoring for more some uh, more in, more more content something new something more uh something to fill our time uh, as fans we didn't really have a lot of po new ponies we're kind of starving we're kind of thirsty for more and with the release that was around October was it I think so was it September I forgot but anyway um, with the release of new ponies fans doubters and casuals uh, all jump in to see how the new series is going to look there was a balance of likers and haters but overall what that says here is that it's really positive um, some people who disliked the show had problems with how the initial story is going to go and blah 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 and so on uh, people who like the show really like the character design the potential of the universe and so on um, my reviews and thoughts were out i like it and so on blah 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 uh, and netflix was the only place to watch it so obviously with how many bronies there are in the world we're going to clamor to it it got number one in Netflix that for yeah when it came out it hit number one a lot and like I mentioned before the fandom was thirsty for more and we are <laughs> the, the the fandom what I see is the fandom is still strong it's just that with the lack of content and whatnot we have been in hibernation if yeah I, I think that's a word that I can use with this one. For TikTok, I, I got no idea. I, I don't use it. I don't have it. So I got no idea what that thing is. So uh, 4.8 million views, I guess it's good. And yes, the next important one is the freshness meter on Rotten Tomato. Um, Rotten Tomato is not going to be the end all be all, but with how it works um, if you've got no idea uh, Rotten Tomato is a m review site for movies TV series cartoons and so on uh, they take reviews from uh, professional reviewers and fan reviewers who are very registered by the way and they tally up how the review is uh, if the review is um, a five out of five they kind of um, summarize or they kind of round uh, round it up to what would that be in a hundred percent meter and so on blah 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 so they pick up from how many people review the movie or content and they kind of make an overall percentage so for new generation to get an 89 percent that is pretty impressive and you know i haven't read all but i did notice one silly thing about the movie was okay and all but i can't get the 
uh, thought of this show is just an advertising for toys and whatnot. I mean, yeah, obviously you're watching My Little Pony. It always been that way from the very start. It's just that how they deliver it. And in all honesty, the toys are not that much over where I am. Probably in the States, they're much um, more. But honestly, I don't know. I, I mean, if... Okay, let, let's, let's do it this way. If I see a product, or if I'm a fan of, um, let's just say Dungeons & Dragons, since that's the thing I've been uh, digging uh, and there's a anime show about it and I see and I watch and I'm like wow I am really digging this I wish I have a product of them that I could get that is not a book or a campaign module oh look there is a figure for it how much is the figure oh cool I can afford it so I will buy it because I am a fan and I want content Oh, sorry, I mean, I want to own a thing from the thing that I like. Uh, a good example is, whoa, Bayonetta. I love Bayonetta. But the figures for them, oh my goodness, it's so expensive. Oh, Nintendo just released Amiibos for them. I'll buy that instead. So, it's the same idea. And for this one here, My Little Pony. I'm not a fan of the toys because... They do not look good, but maybe my nephew or niece would. Oh, do you want to buy it? So, yeah. You know, honestly, eh? Everything. People's trying to sell you everything. So, for me, getting back on track before I lose my mind is focus on the movie as its own entity. Whatever it is is in trying to do with the selling of the toys, promoting the brand and so on, that you can put it aside because go in with an open mind and uh, without any preconceived notions of thoughts, go in blind, go in, try to go in blind and try to enjoy for the content for what it is. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> wow. Um, that took me a while just to get back on track. <laughs> Okay, so let's go to the last one. And talking about doing things you like. New update for the My Little Pony game at the Change 6. So if you guys got no idea what this is, this is the Game Love game. Um, yeah, the Game Love My Little Pony game that came out way back when in the days that I've stopped playing. So let's read what they have to say. A new update is rolling out for the My Little Pony game on Android and iOS that introduced the main six S changelings. The event is on for a limited time and includes the usual collectible ponies and objects you've come to expect out of the app. Uh, they are sorry. They also have Rainbow Dash Wonderbolt event going on, exploring uh, exploring the past, present, and future of the organization. Full what's new note can be found below. Patch seven point two zero. So anyway, uh, let's see. Every pony, we have two new adventures ahead. Everyone. Right. Enjoy them while helping your favorite characters. Meet the Change 6. Our Twilight Sparkle and her friends actually changelings? A bunch of changeling kids sure seems to think so. Find out what's going on in the new limited time event. And the second is Meet Your Heroes. What will Rainbow Dash's legacy be? Wonder about past, present, and future. Help her figure it out in a new limited time event. I got no idea what those are. And I'm guessing this is the Game Love game. Yes, there's the tag there. And yes. So, it's, it's, all, 
it's all good. I mean, there's nothing much I can say. Some people enjoy the game. Some people um, buy, play stuff, whatever. I mean, they enjoy it and it's cool. And we get this splash screen of the main six has changed things. And here's one of the things. Um, game Loft has always added... Or <laughs> how do I put this? Uh, game Loft has always done things or updated the game in very interesting ways uh they inserted a lot of um how to put this they inserted a lot of uh, show canon comic canon uh, movie canons and also some of their own things and that is pretty amazing uh this game if i'm not mistaken came out in 2014 probably i could be wrong but Within all those times, they've added a bit of content from the show, the comics, the uh, Equestria Girls line of series. And I've always appreciated them doing all those kind of things because they could just have leave it be, like don't even try to innovate or whatever because it's just a game for kids that they don't really have to put much effort into but them do doing updates like uh what it was 7.2 7.2.0 like there's a lot of dedication maybe it makes bang for the buck for them to update that much but hey um if they see potential in this and they want to keep going that's awesome also the idea for them with this one is that I think that the game can live on for as long as there's content and in all honesty they could phase out the main six to include the new five so we'll have to wait and see honestly I would appreciate that if they don't do that like just introduce the new generation in and slowly Add in their own world or their own segment or whatever it is because I think that's what they did with Equestria Girls but I'm not 100% sure but yay um, this is this is still cool this is still cool and with that that is the news for this week and yes <coughs> so uh, let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have I been doing my week so um, let's see um let's see um in all honesty i haven't been doing much oh no 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 i just remember um the only reason why uh, sorry the reason why I, there were no episodes last week is because it was my birthday my birthday was on the 29th of november uh yes the 29th of november uh it was on a friday and let's just say that i was distracted by cakes oh, here we go cakes presents and family and friends so yay um it was on the weekend so you can just imagine how busy i was mm. so i took a birthday break i hope you guys don't mind and yeah just enjoy my time eating cakes um having um friends around and so on you know what, uh, I, I think I can try and show you a picture of the birthday cake that I got. Um, you know what, I have to send it to myself on the... Um, what's this? Um, WhatsApp, something like that. Give me a second, eh, folks? Oh no, I have to censor that. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, you know what, I, I'll just... Do it the ghetto way because reasons. Uh, righty then. So, this was my. Oh no, the focus is terrible. Anyway, so this was my birthday cake, or one of it. So yay! Um, it is a small cake with a pony on top. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, this was from my friends like <laughs> it, it, it was kind of a troll but i really enjoy enjoyed it because um yeah they they, they, they <laughs> how do you put this if everyone's having fun i'm cool with it 
and the other one is this um okay let's see this um I'm gonna let you all soak it in and probably ask what the hell is that okay so um there's a dish in Malaysia called um roti jala and it translates into net bread or roti uh, net roti and it looks like give me a second something like this so um just imagine pancake batter in a strainer that ooze out uh, individual sorry that has um, a strainer that has individual holes where when it pours out it becomes like sp spaghetti that's the westernization I can think of and when the strainer um, drips the batter onto the frying pan uh, they move it around in a circular motion to create a net like effect so when that's finished, they pick it up and they roll it into a, um, they, they roll it into, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, compact spring roll, yes. They, um, they roll it into a spring roll shape where you eat it with curry, chicken curry or whatever it is. And the batter is kind of, normal like it's not sweet it's not uh, probably it's maybe a bit salty but it's just normal uh, plain kind of thing where you just dip it in the curry and eat it like that so uh, that's that and yeah uh, got that one too oh man I really appreciate it <coughs> uh, so got, got some of the birthday wishes on the social medias not much but still uh, and for that, I thank you guys who remembered and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, oh, let's let's try and get back on track. Um, that was last week's thing. This week, hmm, I got no idea. Um, there's nothing much. Ah, yes, uh, I remembered. I've been playing an old game. Uh, it's called Dishonored. I played it just because of nostalgia. Um, I played it on the PlayStation. 3 yes i played it on the playstation 3 back in the days enjoyed it and kind of put it aside um now i'm playing it on steam which is on the uh, pc and i got it for cheap a uh, uh, definition of cheap for americans it would be yeah 10 bucks 15 probably with all the dlcs so yeah um did that played that and it was kind of okay it was okay um enjoyed playing the game a bit and so on so yeah um didn't bought this on a two it was kind of expensive so i'm waiting it for i'm waiting for it to get a discount and probably buy it then but anywho um yeah th those are the things i've been doing um notable and memorable other than that nothing much so let's wrap things up <coughs> if you guys have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can contact us at the MBS show at, at the .com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on phonelive.live.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, please do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me. Tyra or Silver, depending on who's available, reviewing the pony episodes, comics, specials, and movies. Sometimes we like to do other things other than ponies, and those can be cartoons, animes, comics, mangas, video games, movies, and just anything. Card games, probably. So yes, uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash mpsshow. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. 
Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself lag and also Tristan. Thank you so much guys, you are great. Honestly, you are you guys are great and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Hmm. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the Mies Show. See ya!